Or what about Irina Brigantes? Let's see her text messages. I'm sure they're absolutely lovely. Although I know firsthand she tries to do all her business by phone so that her fingerprints won't be everywhere. That's why she, it's very difficult for Irina to file a defamation lawsuit because we'd actually start subpoenaing everybody she talks to and they'd have to give up the goods. Right now, I guarantee you Fox is threatening people if they write stories about me accusing Irina Briganti because she hates to see her name in print. The people who come for you in this way, James, they're cowards. They're happy to smear you. But as soon as you turn the tables and start talking about them by name and their misdeeds, totally different story. And I would back up every single thing Megan said right there from experience. Wow. And again, Irina Briganti basically is denying these allegations, saying she, quote, this is completely false and an outright lie. But what is clear is this. This Fox job is a hit job, and they don't plan to slow it down anytime soon. Joining me now is Trump 2020 senior advisor and host of the Right View podcast, Laura Trump, Laura, thank you for joining us. Appreciate you, you spending some time. So Tucker gets bounced, um, you know, in, in this slow leak, this drip, drip, drip of, of leaks, uh, presumably from Fox. It's, it's scary, it's undermining, and it's, it, it seems cheap. But what are your thoughts? Well, yeah, there's no doubt someone somewhere is trying to do their best at disparaging Tucker. Uh, none of the, the things that have come out, by the way, Eric, have, I, I think, had that effect at all. I don't think people really care about any of the, the things that have been leaked out uh, by whomever is doing it. Um, but I think the really sad part of all of this, and I think the reason people have reacted so negatively to Fox, and I mean, there's no doubt this has hurt Fox. You look at their ratings, and, and it's, it's certainly different than it was when Tucker was there, um, is because I think people are desperate, Eric, for the truth and what is real. We feel like we live in a world right now where we really don't know what is real. Where can you get real news and real information? Where can you find the truth? What is real versus what is AI generated? I mean, gosh, you know, it's hard to even say what a real woman is for so many people these days. And it felt like with Tucker Carlson, for so many people, he was one of the few that would give it, give it to you in the very real way. He would speak the truth, even when it was perhaps unpopular to do so on so many fronts. And I think that's why people really gravitated to him. That's why he became so popular. And that's why people tuned in every night at 8 p.m. to Fox to see Tucker, to hear him talk about what was real out there and the truth of the moment. And so for him to have abruptly left in the way he did, and I think for people to not have a reason still from Fox as to why he is no longer there, it was just one and done and we should all just kind of move on with it. People are upset. They feel a little betrayed, I think, by Fox in this moment. And um, it, it's going to be tough, I think, for Fox to gain back the trust of a lot of people because it leads people to speculate, Eric, as so many of us have. Why was Tucker uh, let go at Fox? What happened? What led up to this? And of course, whenever you're looking for truth and you let go of the guy who was speaking the truth, people feel like, well, are you trying to hide something? And it's a pretty tough spot for Fox to be in right now, I think. Yeah, and, and I'm going to speculate as well. I'm speculating. I'm probably pretty darn close to it. I, I'm hovering over the truth, so to speak, as Megyn Kelly is. He was let go because Fox has gone woke. They're moving left. There's no, there's no question in my mind. But the Paul Ryan hiring, you know, since Tucker's been gone, I've seen Carl Rove on that show on that network time and time again. He's doing two, three hits a day on that thing. They're clearly doubling down on the establishment, the rhino wing of the party, in my opinion. One of the dangers of leaking, though, uh, Laura, is that when you leak to people like Media Matters and the, and the New York Times and others, you give them ammunition. So they want to trash Tucker. Look at what Lincoln Project did using AI to recreate Tucker's voice, using his words granted, but you, recreating his voice over a horrendous video. Watch. A couple of weeks ago, I was watching video of people fighting on the street in Washington. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. So the point is they, they gave them, they leaked that, that audio, and they gave Lincoln Project and other lefties, you know, ammunition to, t to attack Tucker. Yeah, well, and it's sad because uh, shouldn't we all be on the same team here, Eric? I mean, I think that's the really sad part of all of this mm -hmm. is that 
there really aren't that many spaces out there where conservatives can go for information. I mean, Newsmax, thank goodness, is out here. And I know you guys have, have had a lot of people start tuning in because of the Tucker Carlson situation. But Fox News for a long time was really it. And we are all on the same team or supposed to be. And the goal is to get back the White House in 2024 to make sure that we don't just have the House, but we also have the Senate under Republican control after 2024. And it's really sad that this is kind of the space we've ended up in, uh, where you have a person with such a strong voice like Tucker, who it, it appears has been silenced. Yeah, yeah but and he'll be he'll be back. You and I both know he'll, he'll be back. He'll be and, back. And, 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 and all that all they're doing is making him more powerful right now and making people more interested, I think, in what he has to say. Unbelievable. What a, what a miscalculation of Fox is, is part. And by the way, this is the, where they want to go. Laura Trump, always good to have you. Appreciate your time. Best of the family, all of them included. You got it. Thanks a lot.